So YouTube, uh, Merry Christmas to everyone and uh, I would like to welcome you to our channel and uh, this is my second tutorial for basic programming okay so and in this tutorial <coughs> we are going to create a simple program uh, and we shall uh, explore some basic concepts of programming okay so like we have an assignment uh, that uh, we have to create or we have to draw a certain uh, you know rectangle or, or or a screen or something and then we have to uh, accept input from user and then we have to display the input on the console and then also there is uh, uh, the next stage is that you have to accept the input from user and validate it on certain conditions like for example if you are accept, accepting name then it should be of, of certain uh, length or something like that okay <coughs> so <coughs> So please watch my first video for big basic programming, and so so to uh, you know uh, start uh, you know with the basic of big basic. So this is the one, and let's go ahead and uh, go deep into big basic programming. Okay, so this is today's agenda. So we are going to learn how to create uh, uh, you know a kind of a decoration or a diagram on a screen. And then we'll accept the input, then in the, and then we will display that inside the uh, the the geometry, okay? And then we'll do certain validations, okay? So let's do this, okay? So I'm just opening the console, and I have I, I hope this is visible to everyone, okay? So I think the font is. Uh, proper okay cool so this is uh, fine so what we are going to do is uh, we are going to uh, use all the things like for uh, uh, like uh, you know print command execute command for loop and if else etc okay so so what I am doing is I am going to edit open an editor edbp and then the program name let's just give it something like uh, assignment one okay yeah so here i am this is my ms dos editor okay so what we are going to do is first of all we are going to create a rectangle so we have a method called crt so crt what it will do is it will uh, clear the console because you know uh, to write anything on the console you want a blank screen okay uh, so at this place we have cleared the screen and then let's just uh, and this is for coordinate I think we have already seen this in our first video and then what we are going to do is we are going to you know display something like uh, like uh, welcome to basic programming okay <coughs> fine so I just save it and then close and then the next thing you have to do is you have to compile it assignment one okay and then run so the concept of see the lowercase and uppercase is that the commands are not case sensitive but the folder and the file name is case sensitive so it's always recommended that you always uh, put the caps lock on and you can you know uh, run the commands because uh, big basic uh, compiler can accept the commands in anything like uh, lowercase or uppercase does not matter okay so I'll just run this command so you can see what it is doing it is clearing the screen and then taking the coordinate to 10 on 10 and then it's putting on the display okay going back to our last five commands okay if you want to do C clear the you if you want to clear the screen you can do CLR okay dot L5 
let's open the editor again using the x4 okay so first of all let's draw the rectangle okay so for that what we are going to do is we are going to use the for loop and we are going to print several uh, star or a hash uh, to draw a line okay so for i equal to this is the syntax i mean you can refer the syntax from i have this uh, file called uh, unidata unibasic command reference so you can download it from internet it's easily available okay so i equal to 0 to let's say 25 or something like that 35 okay and then what we are going to do is we are going to uh, CRT at the rate or you can use simply to print at the rate 10 comma 10 or you can do 10 uh, or say 15 comma and then we are using the variable here so when I say I want to draw a horizontal line so what I can do is I can keep the uh, y coordinate constant and then I can change the x coordinate as I can I can make x as variable right that way it will make a horizontal line right okay so and then we have to print something let's say I, I can put hash okay and then just uh, the syntax just following the syntax we have to give next i okay so let's see what it is doing basic bp assign one okay again run bp assign one okay so you can see it has drawn the uh, the horizontal line with hash okay coming back to our program dot x3 okay so it is doing is i have given i from 0 to 35 let's just make let's move the uh, line a bit right side okay so i'll just put it like you know from 15 or something like that 15 to 35 okay and let's just make it uh, like uh, 45 okay fine so now this is the horizontal line then again at the same place you can draw a vertical line as well you know so what we can do is we can put a you know we can do a cascading of for loop with uh, j as a variable so what you can do is j uh, to put to draw a vertical line you can keep the x value constant and you can uh, change or you can uh, get a variable as j from uh, from you know like uh, 15 to any value you want like uh, let's say 30 okay and then you can print make a print statement here at the rate so what I what we are going to do is we are keeping uh, x constant so let's make it uh, as 15 and then j right okay so let's see what is happening uh, we cannot say everything we cannot make it right at the at first run itself so we'll just we can, we can, we can make it a try we can see we can see what is the output and then here you can close the second loop using the next j okay so let's just run it okay so dot x3 compilation is done dot l5 dot x3 to run okay so as you can see uh, it has done the horizontal line as well as the vertical line looks okay right okay coming back to program so you can draw it as per your requirement you know whatever coordinate or length of the uh, you know this uh, line or something like that that you that is your choice so coming back to program so let's just draw this is one horizontal one vertical line 
so what I'll do is I'll just copy paste this and I'll paste it here and we can make one more horizontal and vertical line so this time we are going to draw a vertical line or let's say uh, the horizontal line from uh, from and this time we will draw it from 15 to 45 but why we will keep it as something like 45 you know because we want to draw it from the bottom right okay and then j coordinate we will draw from 15 to 30 okay that is fine but x coordinate we have to make it as something like 45 okay with this two let's just see so again uh, compilation then running the program okay okay something wrong has happened as you can see this has gone to uh, 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 something wrong with uh, another loop okay okay you can see it is coming here right so maybe we have given the start position wrong okay coming back to program dot x3 okay so this is fine so i equal to 15 to 45 and j equal to 15 to 30 so horizontal line we are keeping y as constant so and then i think when x is i which is from 15 to 45 which makes sense and j is uh, 15 to 30 which is y that is fine and then i think uh, x is 45 okay um, this is for one second let me just pause the video so what i did is i changed the uh, coordinate back to 30 and 45 so this is uh, your choice it's up to you like you can see the output where it is going and depending on the location you can change it and the values of i uh, minimum to maximum okay so if i run this now so it will draw a rectangle so dot x 4 dot x 4 again to run so as you can see it is drawing a very uh, beautiful rectangle okay so now my next target is that we will accept uh, username or something any other values and we'll display this inside this this rectangle okay going ahead dot x3 so now what we are do doing is we are uh, taking the input so let's say uh, so we have to go back to coordinate so print uh, at the rate so what we are going to do is we are going to 15th position let's say 16 or uh, I mean uh, 15 is the coordinate start position 15 16 and then we will say enter enter name okay or anything you want the prompt to be so enter name and then colon okay and then here you have to use the input okay input is a function to accept the data input and then you can use a variable like uh, anything like m m1 name one or something like that okay and then you can print it let's just simply print it at this moment so let's say i will print it on uh, 17th next line okay and then name okay let's see how it works again <coughs> dot l5 dot x3 dot x3 again to run so you can see it is going to the 16th coordinate y position enter name let's just enter something and it is displaying the output on the inside the screen okay i think let's move this uh, values a bit inside so that the hash remains there as it is okay 
so open the editor again so we'll just uh, make it as <coughs> 16 okay so yeah 16 fine so now we accepted the name okay similarly you can accept uh, other values like uh, you know like location okay uh, like uh, enter enter location so loc yeah so here the coordinate we are going to use is we are going to use uh, 18 to make it accept on the next line and then we are going to display it on 19 okay cool so we'll save it and we'll try to run it again dot x3 compilation dot x3 again to the enter name shanker location okay so this is how you can accept and display the input now my other uh, um, the next target is you have to validate the data okay so how do we do that we can do that using the conditional uh, conditional statements okay so let's just do that also quickly dot x4 yeah so let's say we got the in name fine so what we are going to do is here we are going to use uh, if i'm giving a very basic thing here you can uh, you know make it uh, even a, in a better way so if uh, let's say name so what let's first of all take the length of the name into a variable so len1 equal to len len is a inbuilt keyword or a function that is used to take the to get the length of a string okay so if len len1 is greater than let's say we want the name length should be max of maximum length 15 and uh, length should not be uh, below let's say 5 then what we are going to do is then we'll see uh, if length is greater than 15 or less than 5 then we'll say print okay so print what we'll do is we will do uh, at the rate it will move the print a bit uh, right side so 25 comma 20 okay so the, uh, the name length should be should be between uh, 5 to 15 like that okay else else what we are going to do is else and else we are going to else we are going to print it right so I'll just take it here and place it here <coughs> and okay yeah so this is my condition so condition is if the length is below 5 if, uh, below 15 and more than 5 if it is greater than 15 and less than 5 we are printing the error message and if it is not then we are going to print the name okay so the same validation you can add in other attributes uh, also so i'm just going to show you in one okay so let's try this how it works dot x5 dot x4 dot x4 again enter name so okay so length i gave four letters yet there is no error y okay so let's check dot and five dot x three okay so we'll just check it yeah so length name one okay if length one is greater than 15 and at the same time it cannot be so i think i am here doing this wrong or i should give all right if it is either uh, greater than 15 or less than 5 then I have this error ok 
okay so here should be r right okay let's just try it yeah dot x uh, 3 dot x 3 again okay name so you can see name length should be between 5 to 50 okay yeah so it's already is fine similarly if you run it again name something 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 okay name list should be between 5 to 15 okay so it's working as expected then run it again dot x i'm sorry um, dot x5 dot x2 so if i give a proper name which is accepting and it is displaying okay so this is all in this tutorial and maybe i'll come back with another tutorial for uh, big basic programming and uh, if you like this video if it is helpful to you in any way please subscribe and share with your friends um thanks for watching bye bye